Ocean sees all. Yes, believe it or not. Uh, look at them all. UFOs rising again on a clear night, guys. From the same tree. And there's uh, UFOs with helicopters yet again. Obviously military. They're moving fast to these. It fascinates me that they rise so low in the sky. It fascinates me that so many people don't know what infrared is or how it works or why there's light when, it, when an infrared picks up light. It picks up photonic light. It picks up all what the UFOs are doing in the sky. And this, on the 22nd, and you're going to see on the 23rd too, it doesn't stop. The 24th, every night there's UFOs in the sky that are rising. We're also going to see a reaction in the sky as I talk to the sky. We're going to see also facing the North Star, more UFOs riding by as I was uh, filming the North Star. And mysteriously on the 23rd at 11.53 p.m. Eastern Montreal time, a satellite train went by. We'll be looking at that too. I used to look up into the Milky Way, never looked on the horizon between the houses for UFOs. And look, up in the Milky Way, there's some there. And look how clear it is. You don't see any light noise at all, as nobody shows. But if you're filming in town in the middle of the evening, UFOs, yeah, you're going to see lots of lights. But those lights are, are proof. Nobody else is filming in the lights, right? Just Bruce. So as I went out, with still yet a cloudy evening, you're going to see that at the last minute, even between the rain, now it just stopped raining, you see them rising up. You're going to see some rise straight up in the center. You're going to see some go off to the right. Some will cross from completely the left diagonally coming upwards. And often enough, you see them from the right going up towards the left because there are some that also rise towards the left. Always the tip and corner of that tree line right focus in the sky is where they are rising up and it doesn't end we're going to see the satellite train don't forget stick around not a lot of people watch these videos that blocking them for whatever the reason you, you're afraid the government <laughs> yeah they're afraid so turning around here at the tree they're all going up into the sky and nobody sees them here in town completely invisible and seen only with the infrared camera What satire? The government doesn't want to tell the people about the truth of UFOs, but it's the public, the people themselves that are going to show the rest of the world what's out there. We don't need the governments to find out what's out there. This is while the storm is approaching on the 22nd, guys. UFOs rising up in the back and look in clouds. Like, literally in the clouds, guys. Windy out and everything. You wouldn't think you'd see them rising. It rained about five minutes ago. Still UFOs are rising up. They're going through the clouds. That light went through the clouds. Any buddies with you? So May 22nd, rain between rains it gets very windy as you'll see later they're rising up and at the end of the footage there's a lot of a lot of footage here may 23rd you'll see the satellite trains you'll see the reactions of them uh, reacting to me asking them the flash uh, immediate reaction again up in the milky way so you're looking at ufos rising into a cloudy evening which I don't ever see them on a cloudy evening, and especially not when it's partly raining. But these lights, yeah, are still rising up. And you can see that the lines that are going by, yes, those are the chemtrail planes, but on the 22nd at night and partly on the 23rd, not too bad the 23rd, they attack the sky. There you go. See it rising up over the cloud, the thick chemtrails on top of it. Totally surprised that I was going to see any tonight, but I took a chance to come out to see them. It can't be rising up all night again. Be weird. Because usually when it rains and storms, the second time I see them in the rain, there's another one. 
Yeah, they're behind the clouds, guys. They kept rising, they kept rising, they keep rising every night by the hundreds. Sometimes they are extremely bright. Sometimes there are hundreds of them more in the evening, like maybe there's 50, 60. Eventually, it shows. Look, there's two of them there actually rising, you know. There's more than one. And they fizz up, their, their partners or buddies fizz up as they're rising up into the sky. This is pretty exceptional, being able to catch them every single night. And every clear night, you can stop by here and... I'll be showing them. There's another one rising just over the tree. And look at all the chemtrail lines going sideways. They were bombarding the sky. So you have regular clouds and you have the chemtrails blocking out the sky too. So that what? That we can't film them or that the UFOs can't see the sky or in space? Who knows? There. Watch them come out here. Wow, are they ever spread? Look at them, more of them. See, see the thick clouds, guys? Look how fast that's moving. Again, this is crazy, showing them through clouds. I've never seen this before. There are at least 15 chemtrail lines side by side going over where the sun just set. And look, you're seeing incredible view of UFOs rising up. And this is between rains and on a very cloudy night. This is before we get into any of the footage of the 23rd. We're already seven minutes into the video. These videos take a long time to do. Look at the chemtrails. There it is. I was a little off. There's the second one. See that? Two UFOs rising up into the clouds. On a very windy night. And now the 23rd. Again between the clouds. Unfortunately. Waiting for the moon. Hopefully, won't get clouds. Still have a lot of footage from a couple of days ago, though. We have our famous lights rising. Oh, yeah, lots of them, too. And the people that have not been here before, I film hundreds every night, by the way. The next day, May 23rd, a clear enough night. There's going to be lots of activity. There's going to be some responses back. And a satellite train. Let's check it out. Our famous spot, you see, always there in the tip of the tree. Eh? Several of them rising up there again. So you saw at the beginning of the video was the 22nd, and now tonight the 23rd, still rising every single night, whether they are launching or not. And it's not the 23 satellites that Elon launched. Once I finish, there's another one. Once I finish counting, about I'm already up to 10 now. Anyways. Got about half of them going by. They distance out in their eyes. They don't come from the ground. It's up there, guys. That's where UFOs and uh, satellites way up in the Milky Way. Okay? Not down here. It's beautiful. They're showing themselves to me. I am lucky. There they are. Wow, are they ever going. There's another one going straight up. Not even following each other. Well, there's proving it's not a satellite, too. <laughs> Love it. Look at them go. Another yeah, there's still chems at the beginning of the night there. But now on the 23rd, you can see them rising up. So they're spraying where the UFOs are rising. Hmm. Could be something that has to do with the UFOs rising, right? We are not sure. We know geoengineering exists, but look at them coming up out of that cloud cover. And again, you can see straight across... The chemtrail uh, went by and widened out the cloud. But look, there's another one rising up over top there. I made the screen a little smaller and backed out a little bit for you to be able to see better. Backed out, we can see better with the infrared. There's another one rising up. Just showing you that it's all night. There's another one on the right rising up. So we're already at the 23 satellite number count. So what are they? They're definitely not satellites. Look, satellites should be following themselves, but... There's one on the right going right, and look at the one on the left there, dead center, going upwards, a bit off to the left on the center, going up slowly, real time, different directions all the time. There you go. Oh, there's one right there. Funny, a coincidence. It's bright, very bright. Let's get it. Hello, where is he? There he is. Big boy. Holy crap. 
So now we're up in the Milky Way. Notice there's no light disturbances, right? It's going southeast. I'll up the exposure. Look, the other one will appear. And probably going to disappear on me yet. See you later. Windy up there, eh? You might see some friends. Instant friend appears, top left. Watch. That was a big one. And you can see they don't act. There's the buddy, top left, that appears. We're not done. The evening's just getting started. There we go, guys. It's not stopping. May 23rd. How many did you guys count? How many did we count together at the beginning? There's two now there. It's got a big bright one over top. Actually was very bright, then went out and disappeared. May 23rd, more UFOs rising up from that tree line right there. See, speaking of chemtrail lines, I see UFOs coming out of them. How cool is that? Any more UFOs hiding in the chemtrails? Allow me to give you a sample of the wind and look at the clouds. That one's going to do something. Should be coming in soon. Yep. Look how fast that one is, guys. It's got a lot of activity tonight. Oh, look at the fast mover. Jeesh. This one's going southwest. <laughs> Not one in the same direction. <laughs> Your buddy's going to show in the screen. Never know. They don't always do an, uh, something, but you follow them in case they do. Thank you very much. Those immediate reactions is what I'm looking for. We up the exposure there. I will ask it. Uh, you know, sometimes they don't always flash, I said, and respond, and boom, it responds. These are good tests, visual tests and proof. Another little response back so I can show my community on my platforms. That's, we're approaching the satellite now, the satellites. The four right there, right there, in front of me. I hope I did film that drone or airplane. There's another one going another way. Hey guys. Missed the amazing drone, but we'll get it another evening. Got a flash? Nope, I'm gonna stay with that one. Hello. Connect your mind with them. You really can, you know. Sometimes they flash. It's often when I say it. <laughs> I got a flash from the UFO that's going to pass by in the bottom left. I'm going to go by. <laughs> Never know what you're going to see. Are your buddies around? Going to see some of your buddies? Yes. I deliberately do that so that we can do tests very fast. Watch, I randomly turn around and lock the tripod and there's another one. Watch. It's not an invasion. What is it? They're protecting. They're looking. That's incredible. There it is on top right, rising. I just randomly shoot somewhere. Let's see, you gotta call them, you know. They're, well, who's gonna believe me now? I wonder. And they're changing directions. They're not even following each other. They're separating. The one at the top is gonna become brighter. It's gonna show us more UFOs. These journeys I take in the sky like this is incredible. I see so many things hard on the neck. Sometimes I film for nothing, but honestly. You know any other 50 year olds like me, almost 50, 49, using the optical head to put on the tripod stand without a lift. I do it by hand. I run out, I'm strong as an ox. 
Uh, I look up into the sky, but I'm telling you, it hurts the muscles. Try an evening looking outside all night through a peephole, looking up into the sky and turning your neck left and right. I'm telling you, you're going to get sore. Yeah, you can always tell the northern star. There's one. Yeah, for going by the northern star while I was looking. Let's follow it. As I come out, the satellite train appears in the north, high in the Milky Way. Watch this. What the hell's that? What the hell's that? Where is it? Where is it? There you go. Those are satellites, guys. People keep telling me at the satellite train. They're separating. See them? Make sure we're in focus. These were just launched hours ago. They will become so small that you won't see them again. As they rise in altitude, you see the ones in front are higher up than the ones in back, and they're thrusting themselves to get up in altitude. And then they will turn those motors off, and you'll never see them again. They appeared in the north, and they're going across the sky, by the way. And Sable, Pat Yassar, Darla Lama, Ruth Kelly, everyone who contributed, gifting out the memberships, and every way you have, Kristen Kruger, Michelle Preston. Thank you so much for the generous contributions, everyone. Thank you, Eric Dubé. Merci pour tout. Ah, aliens on the moon. When are they going to tell the world? Come on, Pentagon. Thank you very much for the support to this channel. Everyone, thanks for the generous contributions and thanks for watching the videos. Doesn't matter cause the disclosure's coming soon. Disclosure's coming soon.